All right, hi guys, it's time for another pattern. Um, remember that I do not have an app. I am at a website. It is pattern-collections.com and that is where you're going to find these patterns, pattern-collections.com. It's just a, a JPEG picture from their website. Um, the next pattern we're gonna do is called tie bow. This is, I picked this one because it's got a challenging shape here that I've never tried before. So I may completely goof it up. Entirely possible, this shape right here. So I like this, it's got like four of them together in a grid. I think that looks really cool. I may do four, I may do six. I'm not sure exactly. I mean, four or nine, I'm not sure. Haven't, haven't decided how many I'm gonna do, what scale I wanna do it at, but first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make a circle in all four corners. I think uh, for me personally, it's gonna be easiest to just draw a quick pencil grid and then just do the circles in the pencil grid corners. I can then erase anything that I need to erase. That's just gonna be, I think for me, the easiest way to do it. And then we're gonna do this shape between the two dots. So we have to come in like this and then make a little curve and then come out and then go straight and then come curve back in again. I've never drawn this shape and then do it again the other way. So I'm not sure how I'm gonna do with this particular shape. We will see. And then all you do next is on this flat piece connect with a kind of a curvy shape kind of as this is coming here can continue that sort of a curvy shape here and here and here and here to make like an X and then inside this curvy shape here we're going to put a like a rice shape and that makes this sort of eye type or pod type shape there And then on her sample, she's done it um, with a little bit of a sparkle right here and a little bit of shading. So I'm not exactly sure where I'm headed with this or how to do it, but we're gonna give it a go, right? Um, I think I'm gonna do it on a light colored page. So I'm gonna grab one of these. I need a lighter color, I think. Yeah, I think that would be good. Turn on my light so you guys can see and so I can see what I'm doing. Zoom you in just a snudge. And I'm gonna decide, oh, flinging my pencil everywhere. So am I going to do it with them being this size? I think so. I think I'm going to do a three. So let me do a, a little bit of a border. I'm gonna, lately I've wanted to use my straight edge. I'm not too sure why, but that's how what I'm feeling. So I'm just going to do it. I'm just going to draw a little quick border. Approximately the same size. I'm not measuring anything. I'm just using a quick straight edge. Could have doesn't have to be a measuring device. It could just have been another piece of paper. Just to give me a, a straight edges there. And then no, that's too wide. Okay. Like that, and about like that. That's sort of a third, not quite. Just to 
come over a little bit more. That's better. Okay, something like that. And something like this to make a square. Something like that. There we go. It's not perfect. Doesn't have to be. All right. Pen. So in each of my corners, I'm going to put a little circle. That's where I'm going to start. Like that. Perfect. Now for the challenging shape. We'll see what happens. I'm thinking I might want to give myself a guideline as to where I want that shape to start and stop. So I'm actually going to give myself a little straight edge. They're not perfect. Matter of fact, they're way off from being perfect, but that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to give myself sort of a general guideline as to where I want that shape to start and stop by just putting in some more lines. When I'm done, I can just erase them all. Okay, so now I want this as my straight piece, so it's going to come out of here. And come up a little, and then straight, and then down a little to there. And then come out of here like that, and then straight, and down like that. I know I didn't need to make that grid, but I did. If you need a uh, visual representation in pencil to get the shape that you want, please go ahead and do that. Don't say that you're cheating or that you did it wrong. There is no wrong. It's art. Do it the way you need to do it in order to get the result that you want. <laughs> I'm uh, going to try to follow along with Cinnamon Cooney and her Art April or April Acrylic Challenge, which is to make one acrylic painting a day for the month of April. I know 100% that I will not be able to paint every single day. Because I tried to do it with my uh, patterns and tried to do it every single day and there, yeah, it, it doesn't happen. Life, life happens and that just doesn't, it's not going to happen. But right now I'm not painting at all. I haven't painted in probably six months or so. So, um... If I do one, two or three a week, four a week, I think that will be way more painting than I've done in a long time. The challenge is to make a small painting every single day so that 
the, the reason she said small is because she doesn't want you to spend hours and hours painting every day, just some time. So if you do a smaller painting, it won't take as long to do, usually. And it's just to increase your skills. Same thing that's like our drawing, right? It's the more you do it, the more you practice, the better your skill gets. Same sort of thing. Um, but people are already, I mean, it's not even April yet for, you will have, you will be seeing this uh, on the 8th of April. So it will have already been a week, but I'm, I'm recording it before April has started. And people are already stressed out that they don't have the right products. They don't have the right colors. They don't have the right background materials. They, they, they don't know what they're doing. And it's like, wow, why are you people all so stressed over art? Art should be fun. Art should be non-stressful. There is no right or wrong. Um, So I'm just, I'm just feeling like amazed a little bit at how completely freaked out people are getting. And they think that they, if they don't have the exact thing that Cinnamon has, that they're failing. Or some people are really excited and have already started, which is cool. You know, if that's what fits into your schedule, start, you know. And then other people are saying that they're cheating because they started early. Really? If the, if the goal is really to improve your art and to make 30 small paintings in 30 days, what difference does it make what day you start? Really, honestly. I, I don't get the whole legalistic uh, thing. And I don't know. But I feel, I sometimes feel that way with our work as well. I get this whole, you know, you can't use pencil as a guideline um, other than the quote unquote official string. Well, yes, you are absolutely correct in the strict Zen Tangle world. That's exactly right. You're not supposed to do that. However, I am not doing Zen Tangle. I am drawing Tangle patterns in my own unique way. And if I want to make a grid to help me draw these, this form a little bit easier, because I find it to be a complex shape, then that's what I'm gonna do. This isn't as hard as I thought it was going to be, but it's still having these spots where I know how wide this is going to be um, is making me be more consistent. And if I want it to be consistent, that's okay. I can draw lines to make me uh, make it more consistent. <laughs> there is nobody coming to my house and telling me I'm doing it wrong. I can do it the way I want to do it. You need to be confident enough in yourself to say, you know what? I know that this is going to be a challenge for me and I'm going to maybe need a little extra support. I can't just do it freehand and that's okay. <laughs> Ugh, my nose is running again. Thought I had gone and cleared that up. So I apologize if I start to sniffle. I try really hard to be completely clear before I start drawing, but it doesn't always happen. <sighs> Hopefully I wasn't too far out of frame from the last one. I thought I was in frame. I might have been way off. I'm sorry if I was. But that was my rant for the day. You know, art should be fun and not stressful. That's cool. That worked really, really well. Let me look up my picture. 
Next step is to do this curve. So I want to come here and just kind of curve that like that and here and kind of curve that like that. I'm going to do that on every single one. When I was taking my break from drawing, I watched H3 Family Vlogs and Nick proposed to Brittany out on the balcony of their cruise. So now they are engaged. Congratulations to them. In case they've decided to start watching my videos. I don't know if they have, but if they have, congrats, you guys. That's cool. Okay, now we're gonna go the other way. So from there to there. <laughs> it feels weird to go over a line that you've already done. It almost feels like you should go under or over it, but that's not how this pattern is. You could though, you could totally do like that. See? Which I think if I had thought about it when I started, I would have done that all of the whole time. But since I didn't, I don't want to do it now. But if I draw this again, that's how I would do it. And I think I would also make this shape without having to make that first weird shape. I could do it that way too. And make it a little more organic. I don't know. Maybe not. That got a little small. Oh well. Okay. Did I get them all? I think I got them all. Now to do the race shape here. I'm going to go all the way across the diagonal. And then I'll turn my page and go the other way, but I find it easier to draw them all going one direction. First, and I think I'm going to color this one, and because I'm going to color it, I don't know if I'm going to do, to decide if I'm going to do dark colors, light colors, decide what I'm going to do. Okay, so now I'm going to turn it, I'm going to go the other way. And I need to decide whether these pods are going to be black, like the sample shows, or if I'm going to do a color and not do any more black besides the drawing. I think 
where I want the black is going to be the dots. The initial dots, I think I'm going to fill those in in black. But I'm not going to fill in these petal-like parts in black. I think I'm going to do them in a color. So as soon as I'm done drawing this, I'm going to erase. Yes, I also use an eraser. I know I'm a rebel like that. I erase all my guidelines. I use a kneaded eraser. Because I like that it doesn't leave a smudgy eraser bits everywhere that I have to brush off. I think it does a pretty good job, especially if you haven't drawn too heavy. Okay. And I've decided I'm going to put my contrast is going to be in the dots. And I've just picked up a bigger pen so it doesn't take as long to color in. I can hear the um, cars going around the track at California Speedway. I did not know it was Speedway Weekend, but apparently it is. Curious. It's making me curious now. California Speedway schedule. Come on, give me the schedule, not just the Speedway. California Speedway schedule 2019. Today are time trials. No, yesterday. Yes, today. It's Thursday. Today is time trials. Tomorrow is the timeline. To Saturday is the whoop. Come on. Ay ay ay. It's the Porsche Club event. Event crazy. Porsche race cars, Porsche show, car shows, Speedway track tours. <laughs> California Festival of Speed. Oh, it's free admission with a $15 parking. That's not bad. How fun is that? Not my day off, but that would be fun. Too bad I'm working. Anyway, of course, by the time you see this video, it will have come and gone. Markers. I want green, dark green. This sort of olivey green, I think. Test it on a piece of paper. Yeah. On one of the previous videos I did, somebody said something about um, squirting my, my page with water if I wanted to use the water blending technique. Problem is, is, is this is not watercolor paper. If it was watercolor paper, absolutely I would do that. But it's not. This, this paper is just plain old regular scrapbooking paper. It really isn't meant for wet media. And 
I do wet on it anyways, but it really doesn't want to use wet. It's not very happy that way. So these are just um, these markers that I bought. STA Aqua Natural Brush Markers. I really am enjoying them. They have a super soft tip though. So if you are heavy handed, these are not the marker for you because they would really squish a lot. I'm leaving a sparkle. I don't know why I didn't go all one direction first and then the other. The rest of them I will do it that way. I will go one direction first and then the other. But I like the sparkle. I think that's really pretty. And I like the, since my um, background color is sort of a yellowy color, that the green looks really good on it. I like this contrast of the yellow and the green. You guys know that um, my husband's business, uh, the, the owner sold the business. Um, by, by the time you watch this video, transfer should have happened. It will be happening. Escrow is supposed to close today, I think, or tomorrow. Um, but I think the, the actual transfer of the business isn't going to happen until the first because that just makes more sense than to do it in the middle of the week in the middle of the month or partly through the month if they wait until April 1st it will be a Monday it will be the beginning of a new week it will be a beginning of a new month it will be just easier for payroll and for all of the other business things to have things just start on the first of a month and at the first of the week. It just turns out to be a good time. So hopefully that will have gone well. For for now, my husband still has a job because the new owners really have no idea what they're doing yet. They have not had enough training to run the business by themselves. They seem to not want to inconvenience their lives by being at the store that many hours. They seem to come and go as they please, um, which you can't do if you own your own business and you're going to run it by yourself. You can't just decide that, you know, my kid needs is on spring break and I need to stay home or uh, you know there's gonna be a lot of traffic today and I want to get home and leave early because um, it's a long drive and there's a lot of traffic uh, that, that doesn't work like that if you are running the business by yourself and you don't have anybody else there to run it for you so uh, it sounds like he will continue to be employed um, because they don't seem to be wanting to work all the hours necessary. Which is fine. He would just as soon have a job. Hopefully. Hopefully they will just let him kind of be the manager that he's supposed to be. He knows what he's doing, and the only reason he didn't buy the business is because he really just didn't want to... He, he been there, done that. We've been there, done that. We've owned our own business, been there, done that. He really just doesn't want to be the one that's financially responsible at the end of the day. He just wants to get his paycheck and go home, but he doesn't... 
he knows how to run a business and he knows how to run this kind of business he's very good at it and a lot of people a lot of people were telling uh, the new owners that if um, my husband doesn't stay that they will take their business elsewhere and that is a testament to my husband and the wonderful business relationship he has with his customers and it told them a lot about how they probably should not get rid of him <laughs> so I think that helped in their decision and hopefully he'll be able to um, implement some of his ideas that the other owner just wouldn't do I mean my husband had a lot of really great ideas on how to grow the business and make it a better place and the other owner just refused um, to do so so hopefully the new owners will will since they're since they don't um, know this business um, I'm hoping that they will um, take his advice and because he wants nothing but the best for for the store and for and for the people who uh, pay his bill, you know, his salary. Because you know what? At the end of the day, if they are doing well and they're making money and they're happy, then they will continue to pay him. <laughs> it's kind of how the world works. I need to open my windows in this in this studio but I'm afraid it's gonna be loud I don't want to open the windows if it's gonna to be too loud but I really would like to open the windows it's a beautiful day outside today absolutely stunning it's been such a long time since it's been a beautiful day we've either had rain or we've had wind so we did have one nice day when we came back from from vacation and it actually was almost too hot which is very weird I mean some day in in the middle would be nice and that's today today is a lovely in the middle beautiful sunny but not too hot perfect spring day perfect day and I'd like to open all the windows and, and enjoy it. This green is awesome. I love this green. This is a kind of an olive-y sort of a green. It's beautiful. question is do I want to color more do I want to make it even better I'm not sure let's see I'm going to draw myself that shape on another piece of paper over here um, I'm just going to give myself a little sample of, of this. I'll let you guys see what I'm doing. I mean, it's really rough. Super rough. Little sample of that shape. So I can play with color. And color theory. Okay, that's what I've got now, right? So, 
do I want to do a brown? I think I do. I think I want a brown. Do I want a yellowish brown or a a yellowish brown. Um, what about this one? Ooh, that's an orangey brown. That was lighter than I expected. How about this one? That's good. If I do that as this color there, that would be good. And maybe in the middle? Yeah. Let's start with that as a theory here. So that'll be sort of bamboo like, right? Got a little out of, little out of my lines. Oh well. It's a little bit dark. It looks different. It's that color looks different on this paper than on this paper, which I forgot to take into account that it was going to look darker on the yellowish paper. Still looks sort of bamboo-ish. And I may come back with a white pen highlighter and highlight the edge of, I think I will, because now it's a little darker than I had wanted. looks a lot darker on the camera than it does in real life which I'm not happy with it's already dark enough without it being even darker but I really like the green the greens making me happy middle middle bits and then I think I'm going to go over it with a get some highlights but I think I think that's good that's, that's yeah, 
that's good. Put my pens away. I want to write the name. What was it called? It was called Tybo. about had it. Okay. I want a little bit of shading. This is going to be a little bit longer video than normal because of coloring and shading. Let's see. So I'm going to do just coloring and shading on this side and this side like the sun is coming from this way. This side. And this side. That and smudgy. Missed one. Okay, I'll look up and let's see. What is that doing to my thing? I think I need up here and up here. Okay. Yep, that's good. Um, light pen. Highlight. Just a little, not much. That works. Okay, I think I'm done. That was a bit of a long video, sorry folks. That's what happens when I get caught up into coloring. I enjoy it very much. Okay, there we go, there's my tie bow. Um, Next video will be called Trelly's Mask and then try spin. I will see you on the next video. You guys have a really great day and I will see you later. Bye-bye.